hi everybody welcome to a brand new tutorial my name is Farida and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make crochet bag with this wooden board so I have two boards here one for the front one for the back I have t-shirt yarn in black I'm going to be mixing black and gold metallic yarn I have scissors and then um, tapestry needle for sewing so before we begin please consider subscribing to this channel if you want more related content and also don't forget to like comment and share so let's begin I'm using six millimeter crochet hook for this because the holes on the board are quite big so this is quite okay we're going to start with a slip knot so on one side of the board I'm going to begin um, at the side so I'm starting on the side here just um, around the head of this lady so here insert my hook and then pull the slip knot through the hole like this so yarn over and pull through this is just attaching the yarn to the board before we start crocheting. So this is our first stitch. We're going to make two single crochets in each of the holes here. So this is the first stitch and we're going to insert another single crochet into the stitch. So this makes two single crochets. So two in the next hole and in every other hole. So two single crochet two single crochets and i'm just going to go around with my two single crochets in the last stitch two single crochets one and two so we're done with the first round and we're going to move on to the next round next you're going to slip stitch this way just raise it up a little bit take out your hook it through the back of the first stitch the top part like this both loops are on the hook this way and you're going to pull in this loop so let me make it a little tight make it very tight so that the loop will be very small and then we can begin the next round so in the next round we're going to start by inserting our hook in the very first stitch we made not at the top but in the body of the stitch so this way and my hook should come out through the back like this so yarn over and pull through and put your hook through this loop as well the little loop at the back so we have two loops on the hook so yarn over and pull through both loops so this is the first stitch of the next round and in this round we're just going to slip uh, make single crochets in each stitch no increase just one single crochet in each stitch so in the next one into the body of the stitch as well so like this yarn over and make a single crochet so into each stitch one single crochet so i'm just going to finish this round with single crochets in each stitch so let me show you where your hook should come out through the back so when you insert your hook through the body and you turn it your hook should come out in between these loops here let me take it out so that you can see so when you push your hook through it should be in the middle of you know you can see this one goes this way it should be in the middle of this in each stitch so I'll finish up this round and then we'll, I'll meet you at the end of this round. And slip stitch to the first stitch. So this way, the same way we did the previous round. And then we can begin the next round by inserting your hook into the very first stitch of the previous round yarn over pull through and then insert your hook into this loop here 
yarn over and pull through both loops so like this and we can now begin the next round so in the next um three rounds we're going to be doing um single crochet in all the stitches no increase nothing just single crochet i've done three i'm going to add um two more rounds so five rounds all together the first one is the round we did two single crochets in each of these little holes here and then the remaining four is just single crochets all the way around the um bag and then slip stitch and begin the next round so i'll finish the remaining two rounds and then we can continue this is our final stitch so i have five rounds of single crochet so one this is the first one here one two three four five we did increases in the first one and then just single crochet in the remaining four rounds so that's that for this side so i'm going to cut the um yarn here so but first of all i need to make it long i need a long tail for sewing um i need a long tail for sewing the sides together so this much i think is okay i'm just going to cut this way okay so like this pull the thread all the way out and then slip stitch back into the first stitch so i'm slip stitching the same way your hook through the back of the first stitch and then i'm going to take this yarn back through the stitch so like this okay and then insert your hook through the inside from the bottom up like this Sorry, I used a dark yarn for this tutorial. Hopefully in the next tutorial, we'll be using a lighter yarn, so. And then your hook comes out through the top of the stitch like this, and then we can yarn over and pull through. So. so this is how to slip stitch in the final round so we're going to use the this part or this yarn to sew in the other part we have to do another one exactly like this but before that let me attach the um, other color you can use the same color of yarn or a different color i'm using this metallic gold yarn to do the slip stitches so you can attach it anywhere i'll start from the bottom this part yeah so i think this is the middle where the girls are joined together so i can just attach it here first of all make a slip knot so i need to make it in such a way that um this inner part is not showing so slip knot we're doing it again okay so in between this ladies insert your hook and pull through so we have our first um our yarn on the hook now and we can begin our slip stitches so into the next opening there yarn over and pull through like this and pull through we have another one so we have to make it tight not so loose just so that it can enter the next hole and we are going to continue making slip stitches in each of this till we go around so another slip stitch like this pull through and in the next 
stitch slip stitch and the next one slip stitch so i'll just finish doing all the slip stitch and we'll meet at the end of this round and in the last hole here slip stitch so we are done next we're going to cut this yarn here and pull it out through the front okay like this so i'm going to use a smaller hook now to um fix this part so what you're going to do now insert your hook this way and pull this the yarn through this first stitch um so i guess my hook is a little bit small but I think it will do. So like so and pull. Okay, so under this first stitch like this and then pull the yarn again through the first one. And then we can pull it back through the last hole. Okay, so, so that it goes back in through the back so like this and i'm just going to adjust it so that it's the same um size with the other stitches i think this is okay so we have finished this one so i'm just going to tie this two ends together um you can sew this in but i don't think there's any need because i'll be lining the bags so there won't be need for this so i just tie it um just secure it in place so we are done with this and next we're going to do the same thing we did just like this another part that's with the second board so i've done that and i have two of this now so this is one and this is two we have two one for the back and one for the front next is sewing these two pieces together so we need to sew it and um we need to sew it together like this so I'm going to be needing, I'm using my needle for that. I have this plastic needle here. So I'm going to be using this needle to sew it in. The long, um, this thing we left. Okay, I forgot to tell you the second one we're doing, we're not leaving the long tail for sewing, just one side. So I'm going to use my needle, put the thread through the needle. And then put these parts together make sure they are all facing up like they are facing the right way so i'll turn this one to face the same way as well i think they're aligned this way and i'm just going to start sewing um with sewing them together so pull this this way Okay, so from here on, I can just go in and back. But first, let me just try to secure this first part. I'm going to go in this through the next stitch and then come back. Instead of going forward, I'm going to come back to do this first stitch again, just for reinforcement. Right, so I'm coming back to this very first one like this. Just to reinforce it okay so from here on i can continue moving forward so i'm going this way because you know it's the back so i'm the bottom sorry so i'm doing the bottom to this other side because there will be zipper in this side of the back so I'm just doing the normal back stitch, nothing fancy. Into the next stitch, 
and through this other side. next stage and through the other side so this is what i'm going to be doing until i reach the other side of the bag okay i think this is okay so side by side started here and i'm stopping around here so this is about the same um it's about okay so i'm going to attach a zipper in this part of the bag so that it will be our closure but first i'm going to use this remaining strand of yarn to slip stitch around the um, opening so first i'll just go back um one stitch and then come out through the next stitch like this just to secure this last one like we did in the very first stitch so like this and then put back the yarn inside the bag i'm not bringing it out through this way just take it back inside so just like this so i'm taking out the needle and then with your hook, the same size you're using earlier, insert it through the first stitch there and start slip stitching. So yarn over and slip stitch into the next stitch. So like this, and I'm just going to slip stitch all through the opening. we're done with this so we'll just cut the yarn okay i'm done with the sleeve stitches i've done all the way around i started from here and went round so in the last one um i'll just cut the yarn here and then make another slip stitch into the very first one very first stitch we started with so one slip stitch and i'm just going to pull all the way through and then pull the um till back inside the end so that i can use it to tie off so okay like this so i'm going to tie off the yarn and um attach my rings now so i've put two rings and i'm going to put the other the rings for the other side just in the same position that i attached this so um i just need to mark stitches that are directly opposite this so i think here to here so i'll just attach this here like so and then attach for the other side as well so the next thing now is to prepare our lining and zipper so that we can attach it to this so i'm using this zipper here i'm using this one with this lining so i have two circle parts for this side and then this trace one the side i'm just going to sew it together with my zipper facing up so that i can sew it to the back
Okay, I'm done with the zip. So Okay, next you're going to attach the hand. Um, I have a tutorial for this on my page, so you can check that next. I've put one hand, so I'll just put the second one. So, we're done with the hand as well. Now we just need to make a tassel and attach this so, so i've made my tassel and finally i have a chain that i'm going to attach to the bag so one side here and the other in the opposite side like so and then the tassel somewhere here i just attached it to the ring because i look i think it looks quite okay here and we're done with this bag so this is how it looks all the way around this is the hand it looks quite the same both front and back and we're done so if you do make this back don't forget to tag me on social media i'll leave the links below and that's it for this video see you in the next one thank you